Hi, we have made a sign language tutor here. The main component of this sign language tutor is a glove. A glove is a device that has n number of applications in various fields. The dexterity and the precision of this glove can be extended to various fields including the use in robotic arms or as a surgical tool for the future. So, when we thought of a more generic and social application or usage of this glove, the idea of the sign language tutor came to our mind. So, what actually is the sign language tutor or what is sign language? Sign language is the mode of communication between speech as well as hearing impaired people through hand gestures. The sign language tutor we have implemented here aims at teaching a person American standard sign language corresponding to the English alphabets. Although there are institutions that aid such people who are hearing as well as speech impaired, the speciality of a sign language tutor lies in that a learner can actually learn the whole sign language without any external help. That is, that's what makes a, makes a sign language tutor stand apart. That is, one can learn sign language anytime, anywhere, without any external help. The basic setup here consists of a display and a glove. The glove has eight flex resistors. It has five flex resistors in the top and three flex resistors on the bottom. This is a basic flex resistor. So the flex resistor consists of carbon on the top. So when you bend this, the carbon stretches and therefore the va resistance value varies. This is how we have mapped the voltages in the sign language tutor. We also have an accelerometer here which is for showing the spatial position of the glove. What the user basically sees is a glove and a display with two select buttons. The user can select which alphabet he wants to imitate and the display also contains indicators which shows whether the gesture imitated is right or wrong. The glove has eight flux resistors and there are eight indicators on the display corresponding to each of the flex resistors. The importance of these eight indicators is that when the user imitates the gesture and if it is shown wrong, he can correct the finger that has gone wrong so that the whole gesture is made right. Let us have a demonstration. I have selected the alphabet C. Now I am trying to imitate the di display image and now you can see that the gesture has been recognized correct. In addition to the voltage inputs from the flex resistors, there is also a set of three inputs from the accelerometer attached to the top of the glove. An accelerometer is attached in order to detect the spatial position of the glove. The accelerometer becomes handy. For example, if there is a sign that needs to be shown vertical and if the user shows it in a horizontal position that needs to be detected as wrong. Also, there are two signs in American Sign Language, J and Z, which involves the motion of the hand. So, for example, as I have already shown, this is the sign for C. The display shows the sign correct. Now, I am moving my hand in a horizontal position and the display shows it wrong which means that the orientation of the hand is wrong. So what we have done here is we have taken the 8 analog inputs from the flux resistors via voltage divided circuits to the analog inputs of the SPRIO. So the problem what we face here is the SPRIO does not contain the VG output. So what we have done here is we have used the we have used the display of the host itself to show the indications. So what we do now is if we get a hardware which contains a VG output, then we can make the whole thing portable and embedded. There is one problem that we face during the calibration of this. The one problem is that different people different, different people have different hand sizes. So this glove need to be calibrated for each of them. 
So there would be a tolerance value for each of them. There will be a variation for each of them. So we won't be getting the correct gesture uh, corresponding with each character. So what we did is that in the code, if you just come to the code, we just introduce an error bound, error tolerance bound for the values coming from the values coming from the previously stored data and compared it to the real time data coming from the glove. As you saw, this was our sign language tutor. We intend to go forward with this and do many more improvisations and improvements to our equipment. One being haptize in the glove. That is, we can add tactile sensors or vibratory motors to each of the fingers or the flex resistors on the glove so that when the user gestures, if one positioning is not right, the vibratory motor corresponding to that finger will vibrate sending a message to the user that he has to correct the position. The next improvement we intend to bring about in our tutor is that the learner would be able to learn words and sentences as a whole. Right now we are only learning the alphabets as per the American standard sign language. Now we intend to go forward teaching the learner words and sentences. We sincerely hope that we can implement all the improvisations and improvements we have planned for our equipment and that it turns out to be a grand success. Thank, Thank you. you.